See, AI is a machine, and you're a human being, flesh and blood, made in the image and likeness of God. ChatGPT is artificial intelligence. You have real intelligence, wisdom from God, as the second reading says. ChatGPT is not capable of love, but you are. In fact, I asked artificial intelligence. I did a Google search. I said, can artificial intelligence love? Does it have the capacity to love? You know what it came back and said? You'll find this fascinating. Artificial intelligence is not available for this search. <laughs> Why? Because they don't want you to know that it can't love you. <laughs> ChatGBT doesn't have a conscience. It doesn't have true creativity like you do. ChatGBT is simply a bunch of data centers somewhere out in, the, in Texas, and I don't even understand how it all works. It's made up of, of wires and parts and things, and, and it sucks up a lot of energy. And all it does is put together synthesis, as far as I understand it, all it does is put together and synthesize whatever you ask it to do at lightning speed in the blink of an eye. It can take all the data, all the writings, all the books, all the tomes ever written in human history and synthesize it and bring it together for what you need in that one moment. And that's a great, great skill, but it is not true creativity. It is imitation. Only true, true creativity only comes from God. ChatGBT can't make moral choices. It can't say this is good or bad, this is right or wrong. You might ask it a question, should I do this? And it'll give you an answer, but it's not its own answer. It's an answer that comes from whatever it happens to dig up on the subject. ChatGBT cannot love you, as I just said. ChatGBT cannot forgive you because it doesn't understand what's right or wrong. It cannot, you cannot ask it for forgiveness because if you wrong it, it won't know the difference. ChatGBT doesn't have compassion and kindness and humility and gentleness like you do because you are a child of God. You are built different. That's what the second reading says today. It says, clothe yourselves with love. Bear with one another's faults. Be compassionate, kind, gentle, humble. Why? Not because you're imitating something, but because it's down inside you. It's been given to you by God, the fruits of the Holy Spirit that you, were, that you received in your sacrament of confirmation recently because you are the real deal. You are built different. And that means, that means you are worthy in and of yourself. <laughs>